Hey everybody, this is Mike Shopigan for the Software Freedom School. This video is the first video in a series on one of my favorite open source projects, Nextcloud. I'm really excited to share Nextcloud with everyone and even more excited to share it with you on YouTube. Every year in November, I teach this class for the Software Freedom School. This video series will basically be the same material I teach for the class. I'll share links to all the material I use in the YouTube description. Before we begin with the fun stuff such as installing Nextcloud on the server, I want to give you a brief tour of Nextcloud and all the things I love about it. If you aren't already familiar with Nextcloud, just think of it like Dropbox or OneDrive, except that you're in complete control over your data. You run the server, you decide where it goes. In this course, we're going to use a DigitalOcean droplet to install Nextcloud server on. If you haven't already seen my previous video about building a droplet on DigitalOcean, I highly recommend it as we will be building off of that to install Nextcloud server. Now, let me show you Nextcloud. I've already got Nextcloud installed on a server, so let's go ahead and log into the web interface. I'm going to open up my web browser, and I've put it at nextcloud.shoutlabs.xyz, and I'm already logged into it. Now you'll see here, Nextcloud drops you into its files application, and this is this is the bread and butter of Nextcloud. And every new user by default gets some of these samples, things like the Nextcloud manual and an intro video to it. I have already installed the Nextcloud client on my desktop here, and we can. And if we open up the folder Nextcloud on my computer here, we can see those same files are on my computer. So let's create a new file on my computer. Just open up a text editor. This is a test of Nextcloud. And we will go ahead and save it in the Nextcloud folder. Call it test.txt. Now if we look on my computer, here's that test.txt file. And we can click up here where the on the we can click up in the Nextcloud client, go to recent changes, and see that that file's been uploaded. If I hit refresh here, we can now see that text file has been uploaded to the server. So that's great. I mean, that's like Dropbox, right? You make a file on your computer and it automatically gets uploaded to the Dropbox cloud. Except I know where this server is and I manage all the data. That's great. Let me show you something else I really love about Nextcloud. There's a whole bunch of apps you can install. So if we click up here and go to apps, we can see by default, there's a bunch of apps already enabled. The gallery one, for example, if you click up here, will display all the pictures in your Nextcloud. See, a beautiful hummingbird. But let's go and install a new app. Over here on the left, you can select your categories of applications. The one I want to install is an integration and it's called draw.io. If you haven't used draw.io, um, it's a great app for doing uh, diagrams, kind of like, kind of like Visio or Lucidchart, except this one's also free and open source. So we, clicked download and enable and you can see it kind of disappeared from here but if we go to your apps maybe active apps let's try refreshing okay so there it is it took it a little bit for it to show up here but so there's our the draw.io app that we just installed let's go back to files here and show you what this one does so up here, you can create new files in the Nextcloud web interface. So we're going to create a new diagram. This wasn't there before. We're going to give it a name. And let's just create, oh, I don't know. Let's just create a flowchart. And you can see this is using the draw.io interface, and it automatically populates it with its templated diagram. Let's go ahead and save that file. And then we can exit. And so here we've got our test.xml, which is a diagram. 
Now, the amazing part of this, this was done on a server in DigitalOcean. If I look in my file explorer, here it is. Now, I don't have the draw.io application installed on my computer, so it just looks like an XML file. But we could install the draw.io application and open it, and it's also here in Nextcloud for us to view. That's pretty sweet. So that's a good overview of how to install an application. Um, I highly suggest you spend some time looking at and exploring all of the apps in Nextcloud. There's a ton that come installed by default, and there are an amazing number more that you can install to add new functionality to your Nextcloud installation. So one more thing I want to show you before we move on you can share some files. In my next cloud, I've already created a, a new user named Alice. This is she's just a demo user. She doesn't have anything. But what's cool is you can share files between users in your next cloud application. So now let's go share a file with Alice. Let's go back to our files here. And we have our test text document that we created. Now, if we click the sharing icon on this text document, we are giving all sorts of choices to share this file. So since we have a user named Alice on our local Nextcloud server, we can just start typing her name and we could share it with her. But so say you wanted to share with someone who is not on your Nextcloud instance. Well, you can share by email address so say, I don't know, you wanted to share with someone who had their email address of mike at gmail.com. You can see down here, you can send them an email. Now, this other one's also really cool. This allows you to share it with someone else's Nextcloud instance. So say, instead of gmail.com, we did, I don't know, we've, so say we've already got here at nextcloud.shoplabs.xyz. Say I had another... Nextcloud instance on, I don't know, nextcloud2.shoplabs.xyz. Now this doesn't actually exist, but with this top link, we can share a file directly to someone else's Nextcloud instance. That's really neat. The last sharing method is you can share simply by link. If you click the plus button down here, you're given a link you can copy to your clipboard. Let's copy that link. You can click that and then paste it up here. You see, you get this, it looks kind of like a randomly generated URL and we go to it and there's that text file. So you could share this with anybody in the world. You have all sorts of options here too. You can allow editing, um, set a password on it, set an expiration and get, even give the recipient a note. If you wanted to stop sharing it, you just click delete share link. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you about Nextcloud today. Um, in the next video, we will be installing Nextcloud on our own DigitalOcean droplet. So please take a look at my previous video on installing a DigitalOcean droplet and get yours prepped for the next video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section of this YouTube video. Thanks. Have a great day.